What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be making my first video in a series of many videos on tutorials for Motion 5 in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Motion 5. Once Motion 5 is open, you're going to want to select the bottom one, the Final Cut title. Duration, 200. Frame rate, 60. Then you're going to click Open. This will open up your project. You're going to want to click on Title Background, then the Delete key. Then type text here, Gear, Text Animation, Sequence Text. Now that you've done this, you're going to want to click Command Minus to zoom out to see your whole text. Click back on the text, go to Inspector, choose one of these. It doesn't matter which one. I like the 80s. Choose a font. I like the one it comes with. I usually make it about 80, as you see, that's about the right size. Center it, looks a little better. And then you can go back over here, and you're going to want to click on the sequence text. Now you're going to drag this arrow up until it's out of the screen, grab the red arrow, and drag it over there. Once this is done, you will see that when you play it, they fall in. But they just fall straight in, and if you want to change that, you drag this little circle all the way around in a big circle, and this will cause it now, if you go here, to like flip in, and that looks cooler. So now that you've made this, we're, I'm going to show you how you import it to Final Cut Pro. You go File, Save As, I'm going to name it Test, it's going to go into My Text, you can choose a new category, I'm going to just put it into Example. You want to always make sure you click Save Preview Movie, and then click Publish. Okay, now it's going to take a minute to publish, but once this does, we will open up Final Cut Pro, and I will show you from there. Okay, now that I am in Final Cut Pro, I have a blank project, and you can click on the Text button. You will see now you have your Example folder, and here's our text. Click and drag it in. Just select it at 720 because that's what the settings was. You can change it to 1080 and we did it at 60p. We're then going to want to go double click this text and type in whatever you want. Okay, so once you've typed that in, you can also adjust the size and stuff here, but it's easier if you just do it in Motion 5. Okay, once that is done, if you go back to the beginning of the project and play it, you will see that you have your text. And it centers it based on the text, not on what the original text was. So, thanks for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And for more suggestions, um, just send me a message and I will make sure to make those videos ASAP. So, thanks for watching. Bye.